Turns out C.J. Henderson was the player of the week last week. Nine tackles, one sack, one interception, and a touchdown in a game where we were completely and utterly dominated. But welcome back to Jaguars franchise. This is episode number seven as we're here in week six and we're going to take on the Lions. We'll check out the news stories. And that news is, uh, yeah, we were murdered. Jaguars are now an endangered, uh, endangered species in Texas. And this week, we have a few news stories. Anyone doubting Deshaun Smith's hands now? Didn't think so. So it looks like receiver Deshaun Smith, or maybe a running back, had a, uh, or maybe even tight end, they had a very good week. And then I don't like how the week four is at the top, by the way, even though we're in a, we're week six now. I guess it's how I missed that story last week. But we have Mark Schlereth, big football guy, says, hasn't been a DB this year that can cover Daniel Nelson. Just keeps on making big plays. Maybe we'll take a look at receivers, okay? The last two stories focus around wide receivers, probably. So we'll check it out. Why not? Deshaun Smith and Daniel Nelson, a sixth rounder out of Notre Dame. Well, seems like he could be a lot better than that. Late second rounder. Maybe a development trade on him, though. Might got Mark Schlereth talking about him. It's okay. I see you. I see you. Maybe we'll uh, keep an eye on him. We'll add him to our our watch list there on our draft board and we'll also check out Deshaun Smith who looks like the real deal 6'5 231 only 21 years old out of Clemson that's that Clemson build nowadays with like what Justin Ross how tall is Justin Ross T Higgins obviously has some size to, a size to him as well but he's not 6'5 6'4 I think Justin Ross is 6'5 might be 6'4 though 6'4 as well but I mean you got that big physical build you're a Clemson receiver, probably. And they've had some great ones over the years. DeAndre Hopkins, of course, jumps to mind as the best Clemson receiver in the NFL right now by a mile. But there are some good ones. Deshaun Smith, maybe you got to keep an eye out on. But we're also going to check out cornerback. We know that Jermichael Farrell is probably going to be quite good. Based on his attributes, though, it doesn't seem to be a stacked cornerback class. So he might be near the back end of the top 10. And, I mean, some of these guys just look like real awful there's no other way to say it they just look brutally bad first rounder here on Dontrell Ward in the fourth he doesn't look good maybe he's got high tackling who knows but uh, I am not liking these corners they are vicious but we have some new interesting players to watch out for we'll check the draft board as these are definitely some names you guys are going to want to remember as we will be streaming the offseason on Twitch when we get to it. Twitch.tv slash Bengal. The link is in the description. We're not going to get there for a little while now, but the entire offseason, per usual, as I do with every franchise series, will be streamed on Twitch, and the version will be edited and uploaded later. How much it will be edited, I'm not sure. A lot of people like the long version, so we'll have to see in there, but a couple of uh, DBs in there that we like quite a bit. Um, I think Enrique Hughes... And Marlon Leslie or two that I definitely want to target as, as a second round guys. But maybe Daniel Nelson in the sixth round. We could have a gem here. He is 23, a little bit older, but we might have something there. We do get DJ Chark back today, though. That is awesome. DJ Chark is a beast. He's our best receiver. And he actually offers us not only his speed, but his ability to actually hold on to the football. 91 catching. We got to get the ball to DJ Chark. We got to utilize him more. Not going to worry about contracts just yet, but I will check out upgrade players before this game. It's going to be important to do that so we don't get murdered here against the Lions because Matthew Stafford's a pretty good quarterback as I want to focus on Ronnie Harris and make him a better cover safety. Hopefully his speed goes up, although I doubt it. Awareness one, zone coverage one. We get it a little bit higher. Gardner Minshew's in here. He's practice squad ed eligible. Probably should move him there as 85 throw power and his disgusting throw accuracy has been killing us lately. But I am going to do... I need throw power, man. We got to go strong arm. If he's going to be any type of usable player, I need throw power to go up. And we don't get it. We get awareness, break sack, and throw accuracy deep. 83 break sack. I mean, okay. CJ Henderson. He had an interception last week. His man coverage is on the rise. Maybe we'll do zone. I don't know, man. It's tough because you want these guys to be good in, in multiple areas. But 
I don't we, we can't just run man and we can't just only run zone but he's so much better in one facet of his game or it looks like he's trending that way especially if we do man maybe we'll do slot and just see what happens he's up to a 78 overall we get man coverage by two awareness tackling and agility all by one so man coverage is playing up to an 80 maybe that's a threshold that will actually make him decent and then Shaquille Quarterman and Terry Godwin can both be upgraded by the CPU as we hop in here we're two and three let's see if Matt Stafford and the Lions are going to be too much for us to bear what would you take in a fight a lion or a jaguar probably a lion they're just way bigger right <laughs> they got to be way bigger so yeah you'd probably you'd probably take a lion there it's not looking good for us if you uh are into animal fights i guess that's not that's no good where's not michael vick does home field advantage even count not like we have fans anyway and, and who would want to be a fan of this team we've been terrible but maybe today is the day we get back in the win column Go to 500 on the season. Second and six. Second play of the game. I just cut it right back into a defender. Probably should have followed the stretch. Instead, it is Collins making the tackle. Bringing up third and four. I don't know, man. I thought that hole was going to open up back inside. I guess not. We got to watch out as that looks like that's Jeff Okuda on the uh, far sideline. That is wide open underneath. It's D.D. Westbrook. Turn up field. Breaking a tackle. Nice gain there. Second and 10. Oh, I, I really wanted to hand the ball off there. I, uh... Stupid. Stupid. Third and seven. I don't like these deeper routes. We're going to slant DJ Chark. Maybe we'll actually put him on a, uh, a deep in here. Or deeper. And there he is. DJ Chark. Nice. He dropped it. I thought he'd have a bit more separation to catch and run there. Probably should have possession caught that, but he dropped it. So we're going to punt. Best punter on YouTube. This is all I'm good for is uh, punting. And am I showing it off? You're damn right I am. Out at the two. This is why you subscribe. I clearly can't play offense. The team can't play any defense, but I sure can punt up with the best of them. It's uh, not a great skill to have. But it is true. And he's going to break, be breaking tackles. Who's that? T. Johnson. Tyler Johnson? It is. I guess Kerryon Johnson and DeAndre Swift are both hurt. They're down to the third string running back. Third and eight. Somebody has to make a play. We're one-on-one -on -one against TJ Hawkinson. And we bring him down. It's Miles Jack. The best player on the defense week in and week out has made a great play to force a punt, keep things tied up at zero. Oh, Chris Thompson took a shot. He fumbled the ball on a hit last week that was maybe even less than that, but holds on this time around, second and two. I want to get the ball to DJ Chark. We just got to figure out ways to do so, and it's actually going to be a check down here to Chris Thompson, and he actually breaks a tackle, spins back. Puts us on the 23. Good catch and run from the running back, Chris Thompson. Acting as a receiver there. Fresh set of downs, first and 10. See that slant would have been covered. We're going to dink it down to Tyler Eifert who breaks a tackle. Gets to the 14. So we are into the red zone. First and 10. Shark, catch and run this time. He's fighting for the end zone and he got it. DJ Shark got into the end zone there. Wow, what an individual effort from Chark. We'll take another look at it. It was just a slant, and he fought off two. Made a nice catch. Dove for the end zone. Forced the ball over the line. And that's going to count. What a great effort from DJ Chark as we take the lead in a game for the first time in what seems like a long time. 7 nothing. We have two receivers wide open. We're going to throw the farther one down the field. That's DJ Chark. Back in the lineup. Making plays. Nice catch on the sideline for 28. I know we held onto the ball real long there. But I saw the open space. I wanted more yardage. We got greedy. But it paid off. Chark quickly. His second touchdown of the game. Welcome back, DJ Chark. We just got to keep throwing to our best receiver. 14-0 Jags. I can't believe it. Off the middle. Get after Stafford. 
He somehow avoids the sack. But it is still third down. Third and three. Stan Joe Schobert over the center here. And that is a quick throw and a quick completion of TJ Hawkinson. Seems like they have to do more of that. Play action on third and 10. We're just going to check down, get the guaranteed first down over the middle. Don't want to force it down the field deep, risk an interception. We'll take the easy first down there with Chris Conley. We get that in there. Oh my goodness, it's intercepted. We were hit as we threw. Is that Jalen Reeves Mabin? It sure is. Should have just taken the quick throw. Saw it open over the top. Pressure got in. Didn't matter. Inaccurate throw as he threw out of the sack. Intercepted. Taken to the 19. So it's over the middle. Big hit, Miles Jack. And they go from the 19 to the 11. Third and two. Make a stop. It's a run to the right, Jack. I, I, I picked the wrong angle, man. It's a touchdown. That's on me. Um, abandoned my gap responsibility with Miles Jack. Trying to make a play. And it cost us. 14 to 7 now. Chris Thompson. Okay. I, that was a roller coaster of a run there. I thought we were going to get stopped in the backfield trying to get outside. I'm going to try to juke it even further outside. And uh, did not work. Eifert in motion. Chris Thompson fighting for the first down. His ninth carry already so far. Hasn't really uh, taken off for one yet. Stafford going deep, and that one is picked off by Ronnie Harrison. He's got interceptions in back-to-back -back weeks. We talked about trading him to match what happened in real life, but he's backflipping after he's got two picks in back-to-back -back weeks. Seems like he wants to stay on this team. Lord knows why, or he's, or he's trying to boost his trade value. As we're going to take off with Minshew here, Vanilla Vic. Merch in the description. <laughs> What a play by Minshew. Third and inches. It's going to be Raquel Armstead checking into the game in this power situation. And we have a hole. Raquel, go through him. He breaks a tackle. It's a Raquel Armstead touchdown, but there's a flag at the end. No. Tell me this is not coming back after all that. Illegal block in the back. It's coming back. DJ Chark. Takes away the Raquel Armstead TD. You're kidding me. You're kidding me. It, Raquel Armstead, of all people, checks into the game, makes a great play, and it's all for naught. Hopefully you don't end up bottling this. Thompson spins back. Down to the three. Do we go play action here? It's a bold play, but if blocking actually shapes up, we got something. And then we got a touchdown. James O'Shaughnessy. He, you know, you can dance. All right. All right. Oh, 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 get down, big fella. All right. He earned it. He earned it with the TD. A lot of times I don't like it. That time it's fine. Should have been a Raquel Armstead touchdown, man. He had such a good run. But unfortunately... For him, DJ Chark blocked in the back at the very end of the play, taking it all away. And it's picked off Ronnie Harrison again! What is he, a 99 overall? Ronnie Harrison, three picks in two games. He got traded in real life today for me. I don't think I can move Ronnie Harrison. He's not going anywhere. He just makes too many plays. We got to check down there and just take it. I know maybe X was open. Uh, I'm not risking it. We're in a great spot. We have great field positioning. I will not throw a random pick and screw up this opportunity. We'll keep checking down. We have three timeouts, 30 seconds to go 30 yards. We got this. Make this a post, Chark. We threw it too late. Oh, it's out of the back of the end zone. That's a good ball, though. I thought he was going to make it a post. I was waiting for the cut. But I guess he thought he had him beat over the top, and it looks like he did. I guess the throw just came in a little bit too late. And that's open over the middle, and it's undercut, and it's dropped, nearly intercepted. I mean, it's hard not to go back to Tyler Eifert here, right? 
I know we have DJ Chark, who's been awesome in the red zone. Tyler Eifert's carried this drive. We're going to roll out here. Minshew runs it in himself. The new Vanilla Vic. Minshew Mania. 28-7 Jaguars. That is the end of the first half, though. We've actually dominated. It's been two turnovers, both by Ronnie Harrison, that have really kept the Lions at bay. This would be a very different game if the Lions had, uh, had scored, obviously. And that's what teams have been doing to us all year. Our defense is actually playing well. The offense has stepped up where we're not forced to just throw and throw and throw. And we can get a good mix. We don't have to go deep down the field. We just take what the defense gives us. And we're playing as well as we have all year by a mile. This looks like win number three. I don't want to talk too early, but we're looking really good right now. Let's play action. Throw it, Stafford. He throws it away. And he just throws it away there on third and nine. Dude, what has gotten into Matt Stafford this game? He's the worst quarterback we faced somehow. I thought he was going to dominate. Chris Thompson, good blocks. Did he get the first down? Looks like he randomly put his knee down. They're going to call it second and inches. As we'll look for something here. This would be an awesome play action spot. I'm just going to street DJ Chark. Probably have Eifert going out on some sort of out. We're going to block Sha oh, uh, O'Shaughnessy instead. And here it is. We got one-on-one -on -one with Chark, but we're just going to throw it to the running back, Chris Thompson. Maybe got it to him a little bit late, but it worked out. Third and 14. That's a big block. Let me scramble away from that, please. Is anything open here? Can we get that in there accurately? Chris Conley. Thank you. D.D. Westbrook started running at the ball like that was passed to him. It was not. That's wide open over the middle. D.D. Westbrook, turn up field, juke back, get the first down. There we go. Westbrook. Jeez, I, th I thought the uh, guy was going to get blocked to the outside. Didn't happen like that. Third and four. Chenault out wide. We haven't really seen him in a while making a play. Rolling out here. Just going to throw the ball. Oh, my goodness. Why would it not switch me back to the closest receiver? That was acting as a throwaway without risking an intentional grounding. Got a little bit too close for comfort there. We'll take the field goal. Go up 31-7. to seven. No, we won't because it's roughing the kicker, which happens all the time. We'll take the fresh set of downs. Thank you. Appreciate that, Jeff Okuda. Top three pick. They've got him playing special teams. And he just made a very bad mistake. And I just got sacked. Sack fumble. I, I, sh I wish I would have taken the points. <laughs> how did... How did where did that acceleration come from to catch the ball? They just cheese and cheese and cheese. Make the play. CJ Henderson It somehow doesn't make the play. It's going to be a Marvin Jones touchdown. Shark seems open. Oh, nice catch on the sideline. DJ Shark. Man, it is, uh, it is fun to have him back in the lineup. That's open. Catch it, DD. Oh, there we go. Safety overran it. Is that Tracy Walker? We're holding on to the ball a decent amount of time. But it's working out. That's the end of the third quarter. We'll look to extend the lead here. Minshew fumbled the ball there. I mean, nothing really got open as far as I could tell. Could have missed it, obviously. But nothing looked open. And we just held on to the ball way too long. Just got to get rid of it. Step up, Minshew Mania. Give me a block. Don't run away. Give me a block. Third and goal from the 10. Maybe had Eifert. We're rolling out. We have Eifert. We have Eifert. Touchdown. I thought Minshew threw it too far away from him, but no. Nope. We have Eifert in the end zone. 35-14 Jags. Offense came to play today. Ball's loose. Big hit. And it's recovered by Trey Herndon. DJ Hayden forced it loose. Herndon recovered. 
and our domination continues. What's going on? What changed? We're up 42-14. Our team's actually playing well. I don't even believe it. Make a play. Henderson picks it off. Steps in front. He's got pick sixes in back-to-back -back games. We'll stunt this time. This is what we want out of a rookie corner taken in the first round, taken in the top 10. What are the Lions doing this game? I don't know, and I don't particularly care. As long as we're playing well, I'm happy about it. This is a awesome change. This is an awesome change. Up to three picks on the season now for CJ Henderson. Third and 18. I know we're a man, but uh, that, that play wasn't going anywhere. That route wasn't going anywhere. Stafford dumps it down to Amendola, but is not close to the first down. They're in four down territory anyway, down by a ton. Fourth and eight. I mean, the game is definitely on the line here if they even had any type of a chance. And that one is nearly intercepted by Trey Herndon. He drops it. Third and two. We'll throw the ball here. And I am sacked. Okay. Justin Coleman on the cornerback blitz. I was waiting for routes to develop. It's okay, though. More time's going to tick off the clock. We'll take the field goal. And we drilled it. Kick is up right down the middle. 50 bomb on him. 52 to 14. The screen. I can't get over there, man. I read it, and he's still going. Huntley there. Big gain. Another screen. It's another screen. Schobert swallows it up that time. There we go. Did they run a screen again? Have they run four straight screens? What is happening right now? It's fourth and eight. And they're going to take the field goal down 52-14. Okay. They got it at least. There you go. Nice. You got some points. Third and six. There's not really a whole reason to run the ball here. Like, we'll take off some more of the clock. But if we get a first down, we could potentially end it. And we're going to find Colin Johnson, who uh, fumbled the ball after he was already down. This is not going to stand. That is a first down by Colin Johnson. Converted receiver turned tight end. And his first catch was put on the ground. I think he was already on the ground, though, and it is overturned. Here we go, Thompson. That will end the game. 17 rushes for 61 yards. Not an amazing performance by Chris Thompson. He's played okay. He's done what he's needed to do. And uh, his last carry of the game is going to come here on first and 10 from midfield. And he fights for a few. His final line will be 18 for 65. But the team as a whole today played better than we ever could have imagined. They were incredible. DJ Chark played really well. Ronnie Harrison, I'm going to give the defensive MVP to. But DJ Chark coming back in the lineup, back in the team, really helped us out today. The Lions couldn't get anything going. Defense couldn't stop us. Offense couldn't move the ball on us for the most part. Yeah, Stafford still completed 66% uh, of his passes, but through three interceptions... Ty Johnson was okay. Didn't get a ton of touches. Same thing with Jason Huntley. They were just forced to throw the ball quite a bit, and that killed him. Tyler Eifert, 10 for 88 and a touchdown. DJ Chark, 81 yards, two touchdowns. Love that. D.D. Westbrook, also very similar stat line to DJ Chark, just uh, no touchdowns there for him. But this team uh, played really, really well. So you like to see us playing well. It's a rarity that it happens. Coleman had two sacks. Timmy Jernigan won for us. Miles Jack with the other interceptions two for Ronnie Harrison and he had way more than negative two interception return yards kind of glitched out and then CJ Henderson with a pick six so he's played really well as well DJ Hayden with a forced fumble recovered by Trey Herndon of course touchdown for CJ Henderson and also Trey Herndon so this team came to play today uh, it's really encouraging to see us actually playing well gotta love it so we will deal with upgrades in the next episode but all I can say is great game. You know, it's been a high-scoring season one way or another, whether uh, we're getting a bunch of points scored on us or scoring a bunch of points. We improved to 3-3. Three and three. 
Still looking like we're uh, last in the division. We'll have to see what happens. Next week is our bye and week eight against the Chargers. So look forward to that. And I will see you guys in the next one. Take it easy. Thank you.